Uh, there was a Neuvern. A lot of dragons. A lot of dragons. Okay. Okie dokie. Alright, well, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna go boom. I'm gonna go boom. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of what I used to call Ladder Up, but now is a Halloween-themed extravaganza. So, if you, were, if you didn't catch the last episode, this is... This is the team. It's called We're Having a Fire Salem. Everything must go. And th the whole point is to have Torkoal next to Trevenant in Trick Room so that Trevenant can use Forest Curse to give them their Pokemon grass typing and then Torkoal can just blow them up with Eruption. That's the goal. Although, if you watched the last episode, uh, that didn't go so well. And instead, what really seemed to work was just Araquanid... Uh, you know, shooting bubbles at things and making them go boom. So we'll just get right into it and I'll show you how the team works. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think, yeah, did I only get two battles in last time? I guess it was a short video, but that's okay because I accidentally left choice specs on a Dragapult instead of choice band. I had to change it. I mean, you know, sorry. I accidentally left it on there. <laughs> Whoops. Can't imagine how that happened. Uh, <laughs> All right, Violetta. Oh, they have a Meowstic too, which was originally, the Sableye on this team was originally a Meowstic. Uh, okay, let's see. Here's the thing. I mentioned this in the last video, but I, 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 it bears repeating, I suppose, here. Because Trevenant needs to go before Torkoal and Trick Room, I, I gave it a room service. But even with the minus one speed, at minimum speed, Trevenant's not slower than minimum speed Torkoal. So, the Torkoal's technically not minimum speed. Ergo, Amoongus is a problem. But if they lead it to try and, I don't know, do just Spore, I can, I can flap it with Annihilate. So the question becomes, I think I do this. My other question is, like, do they have Tailwind? Meowstic's a problem because if they have Meowstic, they probably have Taunt. I don't want them necessarily Taunt me. But, I mean, I kind of just have to shoot my shot, right? I kind of just have to shoot my shot. I can quash the Meowstic if I can get into a good position before I can Thunder Wave. But I think we're just going to go with this lead. Annihilate Trevenant and try and do big grass damage. Because I do see a lot of things on that team do not appreciate fire. So, even like the... Um, Incineroar and the Salamence resist, but if you Forest Curse them, now they don't resist. And they take neutral damage from fire. And Choice Specs, not Choice Specs, <laughs> Charcoal, Terrifier, Eruption in the Sun against neutral things usually just deletes them. All right, so we got Amoongus and Grimmsnarl. So we're going to find out what their items are, thanks to Trevenant's Frisk, which is another thing. Lagging Tail, oh god, no. Stop it. Stop it. <sighs> okay. The two things on the field I didn't want on the field at the same time are on the field at the same time, so I don't know how to feel about that. Um, I think it's better for me to final game at the Amoongus. I, I think so. As much as I want to just delete Grimmsnarl, I think it's better if I... Delete the Amoongus. Oh, if they trick, they can just they can just trick Lagging Tail onto. I think they're gonna trick Lagging Tail and Spore into um, Annihilate. This is exactly why I have Terra Grass on Annihilate. I am giving up my Firepower with Torkoal, but if I can get rid of Amoongus, it doesn't matter as much and if they if they trick a lagging tail on if they trick a lagging tail onto me and try to spore and i just final gambit then they've wasted their whole thing okay so they're gonna spore now oh wait they tricked a lagging tail onto me why didn't i'm so confused why didn't annihilate go last so I just wasted my Terra for no reason. Okay. Okay, well, the uh, Grimmsnarl is kind of 
it's kind of nerfed now because it whatever it, it picks next it gets to change its move it, it does have choice guard but now it now gets to pick its move so it might honestly just trick it might just trick into because if it tricks it can it can swap the choice guard into something else if it goes for anything besides trick it's gonna be locked in so like if it goes for let's say light screen here then it's locked in um i'm going to force curse this elements please don't terrestrialize you don't need you, you don't need to terrestrialize it oh god that's not what i wanted either trick onto onto who Okay. There's the eruption. I mean, it's okay because I'm forced cursing. Forced cur forced cursing? Forced cursing. Ugh. That does mess up my speed tiers, though. So that's not good. Uh, yeah, it's not good. But I can. So here's the thing. What else do they have on the team? Okay, this is really annoying. I have to deal with this. I, I'm not getting to do the thing I want to do. Okay, so I bet they have Rillaboom in the back. I don't know why. Everything's telling me they have Rillaboom. So I'm still going to Force Curse the Salamence. Sucker Punch. Okay. Anyways, uh, Grimmsnarl's gone. So I'm gonna I'm gonna Force Curse the Salamence so that unless it has Flamethrower or something, which would be terrible. Um, I can hit it next turn with a heat wave. So like if it drops, I mean Draco would be bad. But now now it's neutral. So heat wave should do good damage. Ah, turtle! Turtle! Oh, thank god. Okay, so it's not a boosting item. It's not like life orb. So that would have been bad. That would have been bad. Alright, it's Incineroar, actually. So problematic. Okay. How many turns of trick room are left? I have to play this cool. Two turns of trick room. Okay, because they can fake out Torkoal. So we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to force curse the uh, Incineroar. And if I'm lucky, they'll actually flare blitz and knock out Trevin and put themselves in range of a heat wave. And then as long as I, I'll, I'll have fake out on Sableye, I can quash them. Okay, we get the Force Curse off. So they go for a Fake Out. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to go for here. Heat Wave. Salamence uses Heat Wave. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Trevenant actually survives. Oh, and it's a critical hit, too. Oh, that's right. It dropped its special with Draco Meter. I'm such a ding-dong. Okay, well, let's go ahead and... Um, Heat Wave is stronger than... Um, I have Sun still, right? Yeah. Heat Wave is currently stronger than uh, Eruption, so we got to go for it. Uh, the question becomes... I'm locked into Forest Curse, so I'm going to switch into Sableye. All right. So I need... Heat Wave, I need you... you know, I don't want to even say it. I just I need you to do one thing and not something else. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, it hit, it hit. Okay, cool. Didn't quite knock out the Incineroar, though, so... Okay. So the question becomes... I th think... I have one more turn of sun. I've got to make the most of it. Incineroar, if it has parting shot, it's awkward. I'm gonna fake out the Salamence. Just because like, it, it, even even though we are minus two A, or even though it's minus two, a Draco Meter could still hurt. So I, I kinda need to, this is tough. I, I, this is tough. This is an awkward position. That, that trick really has been annoying. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I think. As long as... 
Okay. Okay. Alright, I am out of sun, which is bad. <laughs> That's bad. Um, but it's okay. I have a Trevenant with wood hammer. So, <laughs> just need... <laughs> Uh God. Heavy duty boots. Why? Okay. Alright, so it's minus two and um It's minus two. And then, so a heat waves will knock out Trevenant, but not Torkoal. So I just need I need to believe. It's neutral. It went for roost. Okay, well that means that this heat wave is now super effective. That means this heat wave is super effective. Assuming that it hits. Oh, it's not. Wait, hold on. Flying dragon grass. Oh, it just lost the flying, not the dragon, so it's still neutral. Okay. God, this is so annoying. Don't don't do this. Don't don't do this. Don't be like this. Okay. Alright, Torkoal. Torkoal, please. For the love of God and all that is holy. Torkoal. Torkoal! Yes! Okay. Please be enough. Yes! Torkoal! Ha <laughs> ha! We did it! <laughs> oh, man. The forest cursed. Well, that was frustrating, uh, Violetta. But we did. Also, I didn't, I didn't mention it. Cool trainer card. Uh, yeah, that was... That was oh, that was tough. Yeah, the, the, the trick Grimstone really, and I and also the fact that I wasted my Terra on Annihilate. I still don't really quite understand what happened that first turn because lagging they tricked Lagging Tail onto me, so we should be moving last, right? I thought that was the whole point. They trick us, Lagging Tail makes you go last, so then they could have spored us. I mean, was the what was the Amoongus going for? Was it going for something that's negative priority? Is that Dragon Tail Amoongus? I don't know. I truly haven't the foggiest idea. Hey, rank five. You can tell I play this game a lot because I am in the Pokeball tier and it shows. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I just, I'm happy that Torkoal got to do its thing. I'm happy that Trevenant got to do its thing. And uh, I haven't even touched Dragapult yet, which maybe I should. Maybe I should use Dragapult. I mean, in the last episode, you saw a rack when it'd go absolutely ham bananas. That was pretty cool. The Torkoal, it's, it's been hit or miss. I don't know if you can tell from watching my channel, but I love Torkoal. Torkoal is one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, it was one of my favorite Pokemon even back when it was quote-unquote bad before Sun and Moon when it got Drought as an ability. And ever since then, it's just, it's it's one of my favorite Pokemon. I just, I love Torkoal, I adore Torkoal. Adorkoal? Okay, I'm a Dorkoal. All right, um, all right. Oh, it's rain, okay. I was, I was gonna read the name out, but I'm not gonna read it, actually. It's kinda, I don't know, it seems like cringy. Uh, if anybody wants to do, do the research to look that up. Have fun. Um, anyways, uh, let's go ahead. All right, Garchomp. Okay, so besides the rain, I see a lot of things that... One, two... Okay, so Garchomp neutral to... If a Forest Curse becomes neutral to fire as long as we're in the sun. However, I kind of feel like a rack when it's better here. I can hit everything so much harder. I almost want to do this and just delete things. I don't even want to bring Trevenant necessarily. I've got enough presence with just water. I think I'm just going to... I don't see anything, unless they're Terra Fairy, I don't see any reason I can't just click Outrage. Choice Band Outrage and Choice Scarf Annihilate Final Gambit or even U-Turn if I have to. I, we're just gonna go ham bananas. This is not a this is not a, a combination or a lead that I have ever uh, led before with this team, but that's okay because we're here to learn. We'll see how it goes. 
All right. Okay. Wee. Wee. All right. Incineroar and Gengar. All right. So smart targeting is a thing. I don't have Frisk, which I really do miss. Um. Oh, that's right. This was a choice specs Dragapult before. So. I had Infiltrator on it, so I could hit behind Substitute and Screens, but I need it to be clear body. Uh, I kind of still think that... Um, hmm. Gengar is Sash. I want to go for Dragon Darts. I kind of want to... I'm going to Final Gambit the Incineroar. Yeah. My Annihilate will outspeed Dragapult, so if Incineroar stays in, it goes down. And then if the Gengar's Focus Sash, it should go down to Dragon Darts. I need to... I need to fix my Dragapult again. <laughs> I have to fix it twice. <laughs> the first the first video was like, oh, it's still Choice Specs. I'm an idiot. I forgot. I gotta... I, I, have, I have several ability capsules, though, so it should be good. Should be alright. Or is it Ability Patch? I forget. Is... Clear body, no. Infiltrator's the hidden ability. Clear body is the regular mobility, so I should just be able to change it real quick. That'll be nice. Alright, so that's gone. And now, I think, is this a double KO? Yeah, like, this is really oppressive. It's just long and strong and down to get the friction on, you know what I'm saying? Wait, does that work this turn? No, okay, it finishes the attack. Thank God. I saw Cursed Body come up and I <laughs> panicked. Well, it sucks. I do have to. I have to switch out, but I am intimidated anyway, so it kind of kind of works out. Uh, the question. Okay, so I can cover my switch with Fake Out, and then next turn possibly. Okay, so that's Pelipper. <sighs> Hurricane's bad. All right. Oh, is that uh, Archaladon? Yeah. Okay. All right. Bri Bridgeras. Bridgeras. Interesting. Interesting name. Um, yeah, I have to I have to switch out. Um, so, the goal here would be if they... What's it called? Into... What's the move? Electroshot? Into Dragapult? That's bad, because then we're just going to lose um, over Aquanid. But I, I don't want to fake out the Archaladon because I don't want to give it a stamina boost. Because I might quash it this turn just to smash it with a Rocky Helmet. That's fun. Oh, please be into Sableye. Don't be into don't be into Araquanid. Come on. Don't be like this. It's an Araquanid, isn't it? I think I saw the thing turn. It's into Araquanid. No. Oh, no. It's into Sableye. That's fine. That's fine. All right. So I have power on the board. I have power on the board. I have power on the board. Yeah. I have power on the board. What? Here we go. So Pelipper, I think we... I, ooh, I'm going to double into the, uh, the Archaladon. If it terrestrializes into Fairy to avoid Dragon Darts, then it's just going to get absolutely smashed by, although, should I protect Araquanid? If it's leftovers, it might protect. Do I want to get saucy? I think we're getting saucy. I think we're getting saucy. Yeah. Okay, well, who's this into? Okay. Alright, that's gone. So that means that this next turn, Rocky Helmet, I keep forgetting about that. Um, yeah, if they electroshot it into Araquanid, this is a really good turn. Flash cannon. That's really bad. That's really bad. Okay. Okay. Mm okay. Okay. Well, this is not going to be enough. God, our child on so good. Why is it so good? Electroshot. Yeah, it's just gonna, this is gonna wreck my, wreck my biz. 
It's just gonna wreck my life. Because there's no. Araquin is not surviving this. There's no way. God, they got me good. They got me good. Alright, so if I had. If I had just attacked that turn, they flash cannon. How, how could that have gone differently? If I had dragon darted into the Arch Ar the Archalodon, or into the Pelipper, do I think Banded Dragon Darts would have taken it out? I don't know, actually. If it would have, then the other bit goes into the Archalodon. It gets a, def it gets a stamina boost, and then it survives the liquidation anyways. I think we lost no matter what. That's all right. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right, we'll get one more. I can't end on that. That was sad. That made me big sad. Although, the, uh... Yeah, the, the lead was strong. I mean, we took out two Pokemon, like, right away. Which was nice. But... Or is that what happened? I don't even remember. I am losing my mind. Truly, truly losing my mind. I don't know what's going on. I've been so, so busy lately. I wish I could just make these videos like I used to. That's the thing, though, about, you know, like, uh, what's it, what's the word I'm looking for? Responsibility. Uh, yeah, it kind of gets in the way of everything. Uh, buy a house, do chores, and then one day... You die. That got weirdly dark. But it is Halloween after all. So we've done pretty much every permutation of this team that I can think of. We have yet to go Sableye, uh, Dragapult as a lead. But I kind of really like uh, Dragapult and uh, Annihilate if they don't have like Tailwind. Speaking of which, that looks like Tailwind. All right. So this looks like a really good Trick Room uh, matchup for... Torkoal. The only thing I'm thinking of is if they bring Superior probably has Taunt. Honestly, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Noivern has Taunt. I think if I Terrastalize Trevenant in the face of a Hydreigon, that's going to be really good. Um, because if they go like Hydreigon Superior, as much as I'd love to Final Gambit the Hydreigon, I can't get Taunted. That's the problem. But I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think this is... Do I want to bring Sableye? Or do I just bring Dragapult for an endgame? Do I just bring Dragapult for the endgame? Because actually, Dragapult's kind of nice against everything. I think I bring... I think I bring Choice Band Dragapult and hope we don't get intimidated because I need to use an ability patch. A patch or a capsule it's either like a little pill or it's a patch so do i have a headache or am i trying to quit smoking what are we working on here i'm not quite sure all right so let's such a such a such a bad trainer card are we gonna see corbinite schmorbinite burborbinite okay okay you better not have dragon dragon tail the Hydreigon has Choice Scarf. Ooh. Ooh. The Hydreigon has Choice Scarf. So it actually will be faster than... It will be faster than Annihilate. So who am I final gambiting? I want to say it's the... If it's Choice Scarf, it's not Choice Specs. That's fine. I think I go after the Flygon. I mean, it's a safer move to Final Gambit into the Hydreigon because then I know that at least I'm going to hit something because, I mean, they're not going to have Protect on a Choice Scarf Pokemon, even though I've done that before. They're not going to do that. They're just going to... They're going to they're gonna Dark Pulse the... Ooh. I think we survived that. Without a damage boosting item. I hope we survive that. I really do. Yeah. So the thing is, I if they are choice scarf, they're gonna go for Trevenant, and, and I have to I have to get rid of the Flygon before it can do anything, because I can't have. Oh, we're faster. 
I can't have the Trevenant taking two attacks, is the point. So if, if Hydreigon attacks Annihilate and we final gambit, fine, that means only one attack into the Trevenant. This is gonna be bad. Now, also, there's that there's that flinch chance that better not better not happen. Okay, okay. Yeah, we did it. Okay. All right. Well, now you're not a dragon type. So now you're not a dragon type. I don't know why I'm getting I'm getting so so sassy today. All right, cool. Let's just start. Let's just start blasting. Let's just bring in the turtle and start blasting. What do they got? I remember there was a Corviknight. I think they had a Dragapult, too. Uh, there was a Noivern. A lot of dragons. A lot of dragons. Okay. Okie dokie. Alright, well, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna go boom. I'm gonna go boom. Uh, that better be a, a Focus Sash uh, Noivern, because if not, it is getting deleted from the face of the Earth. I can't Forest Curse the, the Hydreigon because Forest Curse fails on Terrastalized Pokemon, which I think is interesting. Uh, I also think it's bad because I'd like to just be able to Forest Curse everything. There are times where I click Forest Curse into something as a Terrastalize, and it's just a wasted turn, and that does not feel good. But I, I'm confident here because I already know you can't Terrastalize again. So this Eruption is just going to do a lot of damage. And even if Hydreigon Dark Pulse is Torkoal, we should survive that. And we can just Heat Wave, or Weather Ball, or whatever. Or pro don't protect. We're not going to, but we could. This Torkoal almost never clicks protect. Dark Pulse into, I assume, the Toidle. No, it's into the Trevenant. Okay. Okay. Well, that's fine. Because they have two Pokemon left, right? The Hydreigon's not going to survive. It can't, it literally can't do anything. Because it's choice, it's choice scarfed. So that means that whatever is in their back has to be able to handle the Dragapult too. And there's just this is why I wanted to bring Dragapult over <laughs> over um, Sableye, because it just has so much more offensive pressure. And I'm going to go for Dragon Darts. So two eruptions will take out the Dragapult anyways, especially when the, if the second one is single target. I think that's just it. That's just the game. That's just the game, baby. Yeah, half damage. Yeah, that, yeah we'll, we'll take that out. Critical hit didn't matter. Just like my credit score, and that's pretty much it, right? They, okay, they do smart target, right? It's going to hit my, yeah, there we go, okay. Whoa! That's more than I expected, but hey, I can do that too. I can do that too. Well, that's, look at that. Look at that. That's, look, that was one, two, three, four Pokemon that resist fire. And Torkoal just ripped through that team. Like it was nothing. Because Forest Curse is incredible. Kinda. It's fine. It's it's not incredible. But it's fun. It's a fun team and I hope you liked it. Um, so that, yeah, that's going to be it for today. And if you did like it, you know, let me know in the comments and all that fun jazz. And if you want to see the team, like if you want to play it yourself, I, 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 I could... I could put a rental code up if you want. I don't know why you would. You just want to tank your rating. Go for it. Uh, I will be changing Infiltrator as the ability on Dragapult to uh, Clear Body. Because now that we're Choice Bandits, we're way better. And uh, yeah, I uh, hope to see you back. I'm going to do this, I definitely think, one more time. I'm having so much fun with this. And um, I mean, it takes, takes you know, it's, it's not not for nothing. It takes a lot of effort to build, these, build and get these teams. So like, yeah, I want to keep playing with it. Um, so yeah, I'll see you next time. And have yourselves a, a wonderful a Halloween. Oh.